<laughs> Why, hello there, everybody. How are you doing today? It's me, again, and again. I'm here to encourage you. I'm here to inspire you. I'm here to embolden you. I'm here to motivate you. I'm here to inform you. I'm here to educate you. I'm here to build you up. That's right. I said I said it. I'm here to build you up. I'm here to lift you up. I'm here to bring and give you peace. I'm here to bring and give you hope. Because I'm here to bring, give, and tell you the truth. Well, baby, it's cold outside, so I'm inside today. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's cold, by Florida standards, anyway. It's nasty, it's overcast, it's, it's raining, uh, wind is blowing, sun's not shining. So I said, you know what, Kay, I think we're going to sit inside today and <laughs> do this in here. I know Larry really appreciates it. So uh, today, here's what's coming. All the people that have been that have been complaining and using excuses for not doing, saying that they're being held back when no one's really holding them back. They're just self-deceived. They're lazy. They're unmotivated. Hello. It's the truth. And what uh, what's happening now is these people are seeing that all of these, ex the excuse givers are on their way out the door. And the doers are coming in. And that's has these excuse makers very nervous because now there's going to be no excuse as to why they can't do anything. In other words, the race baiters are on the way out the door. The dividers are on the way out the door. And and what's coming in are is integrity, is accountability, is law enforcement, is unity, the uniters coming in. And and if you if you don't believe that that's what's happening, just look it around and listen. Just listen to what some of these people are saying. I mean, it just happened to me just earlier today on the computer where one of these liberal leftists, um, a race baiter, did his best to try to goad me and get me into an argument. I'm not going to argue with anybody. It's just that man's opinion, and his opinion has no power over me. I don't let any man define me. And if you want to try to come in and define me, well, then guess what you're going to do? You're going to get your feelings hurt with much quickness. And that's exactly what happened to this individual. So what's going to happen is this. First, I don't want you, I don't want you all to argue with these people because they're, they're hurt. They are embarrassed. They now have to explain why they have been saying and doing all these things that they've been saying and doing. Because remember, they've been saying and doing them for eight years. If not longer. And now what's coming in is they've, they've, we've had eight years of zero results. There has been no improvement. There has just been a bigger and bigger tax burden. But now, what they're seeing coming in 
even before the man takes office. They're seeing the success. They're seeing the encouragement. They're seeing the upgrade that's coming in. Now, why do you all, why do you all like that saying so much? I'm going to tell you why you like it. Because you're experiencing, experiencing it. I could sit here forever and, and, and anybody could sit here forever and say, you're upgrade, you're upgrade, you're upgrade. Hello, that's what we've been hearing for eight daggum years. And instead of being upgraded, everybody's been downgraded. The only thing that's been upgraded is the cost of everything. From the cost of health insurance to the cost of living. The only thing that's been upgraded is the unemployment rate. So, but why is it now? Now, all of a sudden, why is it resonating with you? Why are you saying, you know what? Kay's right. I believe that my upgrade is on the way. Well, let me explain to you why. It's very simple. Because you are experiencing it. You are experiencing it right now. Right where you are. You have been experiencing it for the past few months. You just haven't realized it yet. It's just like the tide. The tide comes in nice and slow. Otherwise, it would, you know, be like a tidal wave. It wouldn't be the tide. So, little bit by little bit, you've been seeing improvements. Your hope, your, your inner man has felt an, an uplift. You're being encouraged. You're finding peace. Peace doesn't come from man. Peace comes from your creator. It's just like this. If somebody, if, if somebody tells you, man, you're inside, and somebody comes up and says, man, it's such a beautiful day outside, and you go outside, and it's 30-something degrees, it's overcast, like it is here today in Northeast Florida. And the wind is blowing, the humidity is high, and it's cold. You're going to say, Lord, have mercy. What is this guy's idea? If this is the guy's idea of a good, good day, beautiful day, what's his idea of a bad day? But now at the same time, if somebody comes up to you and tells you, hey, it's a beautiful day outside, and you go outside, and it's, and it's your, your, ideal temperature, your ideal conditions, what you really like, then it's going to, it's going to resonate. You're going to click. You're going to say, yeah, you know what it is? A, it's a very nice day out here. It's a great day. So whenever you hear me say your upgrade is on the way, it's resonating with you because you are experiencing it and you have been experiencing it for months. Well, it's about to get turned up a few more notches, folks. Okay? But just understand, what has these people, what has these excuse givers and these excuse makers upset is that the excuse makers are on their way out the door. The ones who validate the excuses. In other words, the people say, well, I just can't get a job because everybody's prejudiced. I can't get a job because everybody is, because there's racism. There is no racism, folks. Those are race baiters. Show me, you, you show me, you show me one case where any of these, where anyone recently here in the United States of America has experienced racism. In other words, you show me one person where it's documented that they have not received a job because of the because of the pigment of their skin. They were not allowed into a certain store. They were not allowed into a certain establishment. 
based solely on their race. Uh-huh. You can't. So sit down and shut up. That's a race baiter that says that. I told you they're on both sides. They're on both sides. Okay? So what's happening is that those people are now going to have to actually work. Because their job to this up until this point has been to just create arguments. Just create turmoil. Just to pit one, one race against another race. Hence the, t- the term race baiter. That's on the way out the door. Now you're going to have to actually work. You're not going to be handed things. Because you see, you pull out that race card and you say, well, you have to do this. You need me. I don't need you. I don't need any man. I'm sorry. I don't rely on any man for any day of thing. So why are you relying on man? Why are you allowing someone to come in and define who you are? And again, it just happened to me today. Had somebody tried to define me, try to tell me who and what I am, what I was thinking. Uh-uh, not going to happen. He got, he got his feelings hurt. Hey, he did. But I'm not going to cut him down. I'm not going to argue with him. I just told him, I said, hey, in 13 days, prepare yourself, because in 13 days, America will be made great again. Because it hasn't been great. And if this is your idea of great, I would really hate to see your idea of bad. So it's time to get ready. It's time to get ready to go to work. So what's going to happen is, please don't beat up on these people. These people are confused. They don't know what else to do because that's that's all that they know. That's all that they know. They have to be, because they, they've been programmed that way. That's all that they know is how to divide. They only know how to agitate. They do not know how to cooperate. Okay? So it's time for you, for you, me, we, to all decide, choose to work together, to unite. Stop pointing the fingers. The finger, the fingers, the fingers should be pointed at the people that who have taken the oath. That's who the finger needs to be pointed at. And that's who the finger is going to be pointed at. Because those are the people who will be held accountable. The only thing that you, me, we need to be held accountable for are your, mine, ours, own actions. Sitting there and arguing with somebody, the way whether it be on Twitter, whether it be on Gab, on Facebook, or wherever. Arguing with anybody, with, with someone is... You will never win the argument with someone who just wants to argue because that's all they want to do is argue. They do not look, look for a solution. I, I read you the scripture a few days ago, Cat, don't cast your pearls before swine. Because they'll trample them underneath their underneath their feet, and then they will turn, turn, and um, uh, rend you, which means shred, rip, rend you asunder, tear you to pieces. So when they when you have stupid people saying stupid stuff. When you can clearly see that all they're trying to do is agitate. Okay, you just outed them. Everybody sees what's going on. And then they, they, they're quickly gathered around uh, by all of their other... They're people that just don't know any better. They haven't been taught. They've, they're, they have been programmed. So what it's going to take is going to take you, me, we to actually go out and do and show them the proper way to do things. 
show them that no you don't need to be handed a participation trophy you can actually go out and earn something and irregardless of your skin pigment irregardless of your gender irregardless of your spiritual beliefs here in the united states of america anyone can succeed anyone and you do not you no one is special because you me we are all unique one of a kind individuals who whose value is that we are each and all priceless we each and all have have meaning and purpose and it's not it's not that one person is better than another no we're all equal we are all priceless we are all unique that's what about being american means so so let's tear down let's tear down these labels stop putting labels on people let's rip them up shred them up when these imbeciles come at you with this with this stupid stuff and you know you will know you will know when it's going on you know when it's going on get ready it's, it's getting ready it, these people they are in they are scared to death because now they're gonna they, they have their job up until this point has been to complain has been to agitate that's been their job that's what they that is how they have gotten to where they are because they have been yes men and what they're finding out yes men and yes women I will say whatever you want me to say simply because you're paying my paycheck. Okay? Simply to be popular. Simply for money. That's called a prostitute. We went over it yesterday. Okay? So, instead, do not do not confront these people. Just be nice to them. Say, hey, okay, I'm I'm glad that's your opinion. Okay. Your opinion is different from my opinion. Okay. And watch what it, what'll happen is that they will start throwing insults at you. Don't respond. Because that's what they want you to do. If you respond and you've just become what you despise, just again say, Okay, that's nice. That's wonderful. That's great. And you just succeed. Because your success will 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 silence all of them because they're nothing but critics. They're all saying what can't be done. Well, instead of saying what can't be done, let's you, me, we go out there and show everyone what can be done if we all just start doing it. That's your upgrade. That's my upgrade. That's our upgrade. That's what's going across this country, is we are all being upgraded. So let's all start doing it. Because change, change is here. Just saying.